Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 6 of Sarah Ramp. So, this episode seemed quite rushed. Now, I don't know, it just felt really quick and rushed. It wasn't bad, but it just felt really rushed. So this episode we got introduced to the um the Servamp um Greed, Lawless of Greed, whatever, and uh his um whatever, Eve. Yeah, that's what they're called, I forgot. But uh yeah, I got introduced to them and uh <laughs> well then, um I thought I'd like the guy, like the the Eve for uh the, the okay, the guy with the white hair and the black hair or whatever. Uh I thought I'd like him. I mean I guess I like him character design wise, but character wise, I mean he's okay. Um, <laughs> he's kind of weird, too. Um, <laughs> like, he's got the weird backpack, and he's got a thing with piano powers that can make people, or at least one of the powers is, like, you know, uh, can, um, have people see memories, like, sad memories of some sort, and, okay, Mahidu saw, like, his mom. We don't know what the Lawless of Greed dude saw, because, uh, he mentioned a name though, Ophelia, I think he said. It's probably some girl that probably died or something. I don't know. And Kuro, we don't know what Kuro saw. He was just like, I don't know what was going on with him. He was angry or I couldn't tell if he was angry or sad or maybe a mixture of both. So yeah, there's something to Kuro that we don't know yet, like his probably his backstory. Also, there was um, a little explanation of how like the, the vampires got this letter from C3 and... Um, they were told to kill a certain person, and like three were against it, three were all for it, and we don't know what Kuro's side of it was, and I feel like his was probably saying, yeah, let's go kill this person, because, I don't know, maybe? I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to, huh. Also, we saw Subaki in this episode, and uh, he wasn't wearing his, um, his Japanese, like, uh, whatever that outfit is, uh, and he was wearing this nice suit, and he didn't have his glasses on, and his hair was kind of different a little bit I don't know what it was but it made him look really attractive and I'm like stop it <laughs> no I can't like this character but ah! just that one moment he had it was just like oh gosh stop being attractive Subaki quit it quit it Subaki was really scary at the end of this episode though like he came up behind the lawless of greed dude and he was singing this creepy song and I'm like okay Subaki you're creeping me out. Quit it. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, this episode was over. All right. Like, I guess it's kind of... I don't know. It just felt really rushed to me. There was something about it. I'm like... I feel like I sat there for five seconds and the episode just, like, happened. And it was like, wait, what? The episode's over already? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Like, every other episode, I haven't feel like it's been rushed. But this one, I feel like it was. Um, so yeah, what you guys think of this episode? I enjoyed it that still. I mean, it was still enjoyable. Uh, now, I don't think Subaki's gonna, like, kill the, the greed dude because, I mean, he seems like he's kind of a, not really important character, but, you know, a character that's probably not gonna die. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, there's nothing else to talk about, really. Um, yeah, so that was this episode of Seraphim. There's really not a lot to say about it, to be honest. I enjoyed it, though. Um... Oh, man. It's... There's so many characters in... Oh! Oh! I totally forgot! There's this other dude that that was introduced. Um, I think his name was... Uh, uh, I don't remember the first name. It was Rosen or something. And he's got, like, this braided hair. It's, like, kind of... He's not really blonde, but he's, like... I don't know what hair color that is. It's kind of a blondish color. Um, and he's got this weird, like, whale thing. It's a subclass of... Uh, he's a subclass, uh, I believe, of... Um, the Lawless of Green Dude or something like that. I think so. It, it was so weird because like when he first spoke, I'm like, I know this voice. And then I was like, oh, it's it's that. It's uh, Ayato from Diabolic Lovers and other series. I'm like, oh, okay. There we go. And also the guy with the Todoroki, the guy with the piano powers, uh, his voice also sounds quite familiar. Like I've heard it before. Um, what is with this series and all these voices? Like they're getting so many good Japanese voice actors in this show that I recognize. I'm like, why? But yeah. So uh, now that's all I have to say about this episode. So what do you guys think? Uh, anime only is what you think. Manga readers, how's this going? I heard manga readers saying they've skipped some stuff apparently in the manga. What I don't know, but apparently they've skipped some stuff. And yeah, so I'm not sure what's been skipped or what's going on with that. Maybe that's why the episode felt rushed. I'm not sure. So um, yeah, that's all I got to say about this episode. Also, there was a little character that was 
kind of introduced this character that was gonna be killed but then didn't die. I don't freaking know. It was weird. But anyway, <laughs> it wasn't really weird. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next review, whatever that's gonna be. I forget what's next. And uh, yeah, see you then. Bye!